right, well, we'll sort of scope it out when we get there. Um, standing by on 7-2. We are officially beginning the next step of our journey. Yeah. Um, little short hop here now, about four hours. Um, as usual, when you want to go somewhere on a particular day, there's absolutely no wind. It's like a mill pond out here at the moment. So of course we are motoring. Yeah. But um, a little bit, a little bit concerned about this anchorage that we're going to. It's just a little bay uh, next to the harbour of Kalkan, and a lot of people who've been there said that the holding is not that good and you really need to take a line ashore because it might be like a mill pond but at night uh, a catabatic wind will come down the side of the mountain and uh, you will drag. So that's going to be interesting because we've got the dinghy up but luckily our buddy boat Jim who's with us uh, he's towing his dinghy so hopefully he'll be yeah. nice and friendly and he'll help us get our line ashore. Yeah. Hopefully we've got a long enough line. I think there's one in that locker down uh, under the seat. Okay. Yeah. We're just coming into our anchorage near Calcan. We got 15 knots of wind bang on the nose. So uh, Jim's gone ahead, he's just dropping his anchor and then once he's settled in, we'll go and find our little spot. Yep. Well, we're fairly confident that the Mantis is in. Um, apparently on the western side of this little bay, it is uh, sand and weed and if that is the case then that's what the mantis loves best so she's gone in and we've got 50 meters of chain out yes. so we're yes. happy <laughs> yeah it was a good guess because I, I had to um, leave enough to put the snubber on afterwards <laughs> and I think there's about that much chain left so yeah we've got as much chain out as we possibly yeah. can so it should be all right it should be right anchor alarm of course tonight once it gets yeah. dark but yeah for now. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's nice little bay. Yeah. You know what time it is now, don't you? Beer o'clock. Saturday morning and this is what we've woken up to in our anchorage. We didn't get any catabatic winds coming down the hillside last night, so the anchor alarm didn't go off, which is good. And all in all, we found the holding on the west side of this anchorage to be pretty good once our Mantis anchor had set in. Today we've got an approximately five to six hour trip further north. It looks like we might get some wind. But then again, all the wind prediction websites are showing different things. So the truth is what you'll find when you get out there. We'll be leaving you here in a couple of hours or about nine o'clock. So I've got to go down below and start promoting today's YouTube video that went out. And uh, by the time we get to our anchorage or mooring, it might be tonight. Um, there should be lots of comments that we can spend some time replying to. Maybe it could be one of your comments. Just looking at the chart you can see this black boat that is us and behind us is our buddy boat Jim and if we range out to 12 miles so this is the six mile mark and we're currently doing six knots so theoretically we should get to where we're going in about an hour but we're actually going to this first anchorage here and I can zoom in on that for you so as soon as we're approaching this anchorage from this direction here we're going to just nip around the side of this island. We don't want to go through there. You can get a yacht through there, but for the sake of what, an extra four minutes and things might go wrong in shallow water, forget it. Get, take the extra four minutes, go around the rock, and we're going to anchor up here. Actually, we're going to take a mooring ball here because there's a little restaurant there. So just there is a very small jetty, and the guy who owns the restaurant and the jetty has got a lot of mooring balls here. You can anchor here, but you have to take a, a line ashore, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to grab one of those mooring balls. We are arriving at our destination for today and we're probably going to be here for a couple of nights. It's Karakaroin and we're just going around this tiny little island here. Well, 
was fairly straightforward. The guy who owns the mooring field met us on his little tinny, handed Ancha the actual mooring ball, just put a line through it, through both fur leads, tied it off on, on the cleats. Easy. Easy as? Yeah. yeah. This is a gorgeous little spot. Yeah, and that looks like a mooring ball that we can trust. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty ass, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Yeah. And that's the restaurant over there. Yeah. For beer and wines. Maybe more. And beers. Okay, let's put this boat to bed. Okay, Captain. Well, we're all dressed up in our finery. <laughs> Boat finery. Because we're dining out tonight. Over there, at that wonderful little restaurant. We've got John, which is a strange name for a Turkish bloke, but John, who owns the restaurant, coming out to pick us up in his dinghy. I think our taxi's coming to get us now. Sweet. Okay, you're gonna have to oh, climb down oh, and right. climb on. Glad to see you've got your safety <laughs> shoes on there, Alex. <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's, he's an artist, isn't he? That's strange. Well, we've demolished our starters, which was a wonderful salad and some very perfectly cooked chips with this amazing piece of bread. This is just gorgeous. <laughs> uh, and now we're onto our mains. And um, it looks pretty good stuff. It smells divine. Two lamb casseroles. Sizzling. Two lamb meatballs. Yum. <laughs> Enjoy. The following morning, we jumped in our dinghy and headed off to explore the small island with a few ruins on it. Wow, and not just a simple straight-walled square box dwelling. There's a very definite curved wall here and arched windows. And strangely, some sort of enclosed courtyard here in front of this window. Maybe they kept animals in there at night to keep them safe. Now we're on the western end of the island and quite obviously that's where we're moored. We're the boat on the far left here. If you are coming from out there, you can cut through here. There is a good amount of depth. Uh, personally, we didn't want to try it. We thought the extra four minutes going around the island would give us uh, less chance of any concerns. But a beautiful spot to drop anchor or moor up. Guess where we're going, Baz? Uh, somewhere else. Kuchuk Kagi Koyu. Oof, I love it when you speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday afternoon, just after one o'clock, and we've had two nights here on the mooring at this wonderful little restaurant. Um, We've been waiting for the wind to pick up, that's why we're leaving so late. But it's just not going to happen. It's going to be another day of motoring, I think. But this time we're only going about 12 or 13 miles up the coast uh, for our next overnight anchorage, which I believe, again, we can anchor there in about 5 to 10 metres of water, mm. and the holding should be pretty good. Because mm. 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 we're not looking forward to the uh, tying, tying back, back, to back to the land. No, because yeah. that means somebody has to swim and... Mm -hmm and kind of tie things off tie things off yeah without the boat swinging around too much you know but we'll get there yeah but tonight we don't have to do that we just have to anchor well jim jim <laughs> Furness has just started up his engine so oh. we better start ours up and yep. get the cameras rolling okay it's gonna be fun yep
getting into early afternoon and finally we've got a little bit of wind. Enough wind to bring the head sail out. Not as if she's really shifted us along. We gained an extra 0.7 of a knot with the head sail. Um, and we're nearly at our destination, so I can't be bothered bringing the mainsail out. It's as simple as that. And you have a carrot in your hand because... Because I've just made some dip and I'm going to cut this up to dip into the dip. Aha, carrot dip. Yay. Well, we've arrived here in, I can't pronounce it, but and she can. It's, hang on, let me let me think. Oh, it's uh, Kuchuk, Kagi. Uh, Kuyu. Kuyu. Kuchuk, Kagi, Kuyu. Yep. There you go. Um, great little anchorage. The water's not clean water, so obviously there's a lot of mud in this bay. Um, we're in, uh, we dropped anchor in seven meters. We're in five meters now with uh, 35 meters out. Mm. And we're staying here for one night only. Uh, great little spot. Mm. The wind is not predicted to pick up. Um, if it does pick up, it will be coming from the entrance there. But, so we're technically on a lee shore, but we will set a, an anchor alarm lap, uh, an anchor alarm app this evening. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems. Mm. Um, that mantis is dug in first time. I tell you what, mm. I think that was our best anchoring ever. Do you? Even though, yeah. um, even though my little foot trembled on the thing, and then I had to push it out. But I mean, no, we came in like pros, sussed out the depth, <laughs> turned the boat around, <laughs> faced into the on wind, a dime. <laughs> dropped it in perfect things, let out the right amount, brought it to a halt, tested it. Put her to bed. He's very pleased with it. I'm chuffed. I'm glad you are. I'm going to go and make some hum No, I've made hummus. I'm going to make guacamole now. Mm. I'll have to get another carrot. You will. See ya. Bye. <laughs> okay, drop it. Let me know when 10's out. Join us next week on Sailing ABC as we attempt our first line ashore anchoring in Boyuk Kagakoyu. If you're new here and you like what we do, hit the subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon so that you get notified of future videos.